1907, scientists exploring the deep ocean floor made an astonishing discovery. Thriving communities of organisms surrounding hydrothermal vents where temperatures exceed 700 degrees. This discovery led to the identification of extremophiles, organisms that not only survive, but thrive in conditions once thought incompatible with life, such as the ultra-cold, dry valleys of Antarctica. Some extremophiles flourish in highly acidic environments or water nearly at boiling point, like the rainbow-colored microbes that create Yellowstone's spectacular hot springs. The discovery of microbes in Earth's driest deserts, where rain may not fall for decades, forced scientists to reconsider the minimum requirements for life. Perhaps most surprisingly, researchers have found living organisms miles beneath Earth's surface, surviving without sunlight and deriving energy from rocks themselves. These discoveries support theories that life on Earth may have originated in extreme environments similar to deep sea vents, when our planet was still young and hostile. Studying these as organisms has revealed remarkable adaptations. Specialized proteins that don't denature in heat, antifreeze compounds that prevent cell damage in sub-zero temperatures, and DNA repair mechanisms that counter radiation damage. Now, when scientists search for life beyond Earth, they look to places like Jupiter's moon Europa, with its subsurface ocean, or Mars' subterranean regions, where conditions mirror environments where Earth's extremophiles flourish. The discovery of extremophiles has dramatically expanded our search parameters for alien life, teaching us that life might exist in seemingly inhospitable corners of our solar system that resemble the extreme niches these organisms occupy on Earth. Beyond our solar system, astronomers now search for exoplanets with conditions similar to Earth's extreme environments, vastly increasing the number of worlds that could potentially harbor life in our galaxy.